When buying or renting a home, the view is a very important consideration. And for 75 years, this view belonged to those who lived in the northern tower of the Walter Taylor Bridge at Indrapilly. Pretty unique, isn't it? I, for one, remember seeing washing hanging on the line and hearing stories of loud music emanating from the pylons of this iconic Brisbane landmark. It has long been the source of public fascination and now, thanks to the Brisbane City Council, the three-bedroom apartment on the Indrapilly side of the bridge is open to the public. Councillor Julian Simmons from the Walter Taylor Ward is one of the people responsible for making this happen. Julian, it must be great for people to finally see inside here. What does what the feedback mean? The feedback's just been overwhelming. So two days after we opened it up for the opportunity for tours, we had over 500 bookings. We've got over 800 now. So particularly people who lived in the western suburbs and remember this bridge every day, I really want the opportunity to see inside. So who's doing the tours? We've got the Brisbane Greeters running the tours. So the Brizzy Greeters are volunteers, so the tour is free for people. Um, but they've got all the knowledge, all the special stories, and there's some wonderful stories. When Walter Taylor came to build the bridge, He'd had many years to plan it before he was able to raise the money. And during that time, he looked at a number of engineering solutions. By 1932, the solution came to him. The Sydney Harbour Bridge had just been finished in its construction. And when it was being built, it had large cables that were used to hold it in place until they finished. Once the Sydney Harbour Bridge was finished, the cables became surplus, and Walter Taylor was able to pick them up at a second-hand sale and use the same cables from the Sydney Harbour Bridge to create his suspension bridge here at Indrapilly. Blair Allsop is one of the passionate Brisbane Greeters volunteers. He has a wealth of information about the bridge, those who lived in it, and Walter Taylor himself. You'll often see in other older bridges, you'll hear of toll masters having a toll keeper's house somewhere near the entrance to a bridge. But in this case, he actually combined his residential experience and his bridge building and put it together and actually had a residence in the bridge. Walter Taylor is also well known as the contractor who built Graceville's Methodist Church. Walter Taylor's grandson, Noel Davis, is himself a church minister and author of the book The Remarkable Walter Taylor. Noel was only four when the bridge opened, but has many fond memories about his grandfather. He was very associated with Graceful Church, and I, plus we had dinner at his at my grandparents' place every Sunday evening. So, plus I worked with him in the holidays, and he hoped I would be a builder, but Sorry. <laughs> this is the residential entrance to the home. In other words, the front door. All mail came through here. And what address do you think you might give the pizza delivery guy? Simple. Indrapilly Pylon, Walter Taylor Bridge. Here, Laurel, you'll need the key. <laughs> so, what is the actual living area that we have here, Blair? Well, we're up on the third level, and this is where the, basically the family lived. Now, this was uh, in the 40s and 50s, 60s. This was where a family of eight lived. The mother, the father, and six little children all grew up in this area. Um, so it's, although it's quite a big space, the actual living area is what we see here with the kitchen behind us. This would have been their breakfast and dining area and lounge room. The rest of the space was bedrooms. So there was three bedrooms behind us here. Uh, three boys in one bedroom, mum and dad in the middle, and the girls at the other end. So we're positioned now exactly over the front door? Directly above the front door, yes. Quite a ways up, though. Tours of the Walter Taylor Bridge at Indrapilly are run by appointment. The tour takes about one hour, and there's a climb of 108 steps, so a reasonable level of fitness is required. Besides satisfying your curiosity, the reward when you get to the top are the unique views from the balcony and a glimpse into what it would have been like to live in one of the towers of the iconic Walter Taylor Bridge.